been a while since I've been to Poinsett State Park, but uh, it looks like they've repaved this road here and uh, made it a little bit wider. I think I remember uh, three or four years ago coming down here with a couple buddies going mountain bike riding, which they have some awesome trails and uh, thinking that it was pretty tight. They've got some places for cabins and, uh, and campers and uh, we've got a camper, but uh, at least from what I remember, it, uh, it would have been tough trying to get through here. But uh, so this is the entrance and uh, nice stonework. Beautiful park. Uh, the mountain bike trails were amazing back then. I assume they're still amazing. <laughs> Chatted with a gentleman, he's going trail running over on the uh, left side over here. I guess he's saying it's super hilly. Uh, there's some cabins. Uh, now that's, uh, I guess, a private drive. Up here there's, uh, there's basically a, a, a dog leg off to the right for cabins. I don't even remember seeing the cabins whenever I was mountain bike riding. Didn't even remember knowing that they had cabins. But uh, anyways, they're off to the right here and then uh, got some campgrounds and stuff down this way but this trail this uh, road has definitely been paved recently it seems a good bit wider than what I remember I remember there being some little swerves that uh, I was hesitant to uh, bring our big camper down into here our camper is 31 feet but uh, got some beautiful trails I just saw a little boardwalk off to or a little boardwalk and then steps up a hill off to our left just a second ago trail crosses over here a couple times that was one back there and there's gonna be another one here off to the to the left section right there you can kind of see it I did ask the guy that uh, was jogging the trail uh, Palmetto Trail goes through here somewhere too um, not sure exactly where but uh, the guy that was getting ready to go jogging he was saying that there's a good bit of mountain biking still that goes on and currently it doesn't say that uh, they're blocking bicycles that are electric assist so that's good to know because that's what I've got uh, let's see what else we got so we've got uh, the overlook shelter and hilltop shelter up to the right we'll uh, go down to the main office in the picnic area up here first and then kind of branch off from there but just kind of wanted to do a quick look of the road coming in and then maybe of the main office and then maybe drive around the other places stuff I can drive to right now this is more of a information gathering for me to see if it makes sense to bring my bicycles that are electric assist down here or not so there's more cabins off this way I guess I think it's probably worth just kind of driving down all these areas, but um, yeah, I'll stop here and kind of take a look at uh, at this shelter. Got some bathrooms and a play area over there. Uh, they do have office hours, but it's only. 11 to 12 and then 4 to 5 I guess they have a very limited staff
super beautiful. I'm not sure what these birds are out here, but they're almost skimming the top of the water, picking up something and then flapping as they're coming back up. They're not landing. So they're not waterfowl, they're something else. Pause that and read about it if you want to. CCC helped uh, or built this park originally. Nice little dog watering area there and a uh, people watering area here. Love to see old water fountains. Things got some pressure too. Nice bathroom here. Totally acceptable. <laughs> about the hours of operation here. I'll be back at 11. Cute little store. Pretty bad reflection. There goes all the uh, the trails that are available. Try to pop a link into uh, the description for the website just so that it's easy to find. Something probably talks about this uh, stone that they used, but it's very almost like coral or something. It's a weird, very, very sharp rock. I wonder if that's one of those birds right there on that sign that's skimming across the top, picking up little, little bugs off the top of the water. Guess you can rent boats and stuff here. up on the uh, chimney up there that's pretty cool come over here and hey what's up squirrel come over here and look at the uh, a little bit more information about the park and then i think i'll be able to see these maps a little bit better with less reflection you know some details about the park who it was named after paul that and read about it watery and highlands passage are helpful at all but uh you know if they're not hopefully i can just kind of pause and look in more details at the uh, at the map i probably have decent maps online but might as well capture while i'm here uh, i got a couple rivian chargers here that's kind of cool I wonder if those work for uh, Tesla or not. I assume that's a standard ish connector. And the price is currently free. Oh, that's cool. 
All right, I'll just drive around a little bit more. Looks like uh, a nice little playground area over there. And uh, some more bathrooms over on that side. But uh, super pretty. Dude that I was talking to took off running this way around the pond. And I guess he said it's pretty hilly this way. And uh, that's what he was after. All right, let's keep driving around. See what else we can see. Lots of reflection. Guess let's just work our way back out of the park and uh, kind of hit all the areas that we can. Maybe there's something uh, cool to be seen. I remember there was some kind of mountain bike trail that went this way previously, but I don't. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely. Uh, Campbell Pond is the trail here, I guess, straight ahead. I remember riding through here with a buddy, but I don't remember taking this specific road. Just kind of ride through here and see what we see. I guess that's the trailhead down there to the left. See what's up here. That's crazy. Didn't even know this was here. Nice little cabin there. Carolina here. Very pretty. Didn't even know that cabin was there. It looks like it's been there for a while too. and see what's out here. I think I might invest in a uh, polarizing filter for the front of this camera just to uh, knock down on all of that extra flexion off the dash. I usually wear polarized glasses and most of the time I don't see it, but uh, might be worth investing in one of those. All right, so overlook shelter, hilltop shelter, See what we got. Yield for the trail. This is your trail crossing right here. Splice is what we're, I guess that's the name of the trail. out here nice yeah, definitely a nice little hill we got going on here don't want a bunch of gravel at the problem to try to minimize erosion Got hillstop shelter to the left, overlook, and then campground to the right. Must go to the right. Why not? I don't even think these roads look new to me, but I don't know. Maybe they just cut new roads in to get to areas that uh, that were already here. I don't know. Not sure. Oh. Nice. 
place. So this is the campground and RV area. I have never been through here. seems wide enough for our camper but uh, definitely be some work to get it in there I just about can't back that thing anywhere without my wife's help or a kid's help gotta have somebody directing me there's just so much of that thing that I can't see this looks like a trailhead up here or something I'm not sure Could have exited out to the left back there a minute ago. I guess that's some type of trail entrance there. some of that reflection off the windshield. Maybe that will help. seeing I didn't look hard but I didn't really see any septic I should have been looking a little harder looks like there's clearing more stuff that way and got a dump station right here solid standard dump station say uh you definitely get the camper down in there uh, this road right here would be a little exciting but you know i've definitely driven worse all right let's go over to the shelters i think we're both this way
houses over here. Well, bathrooms at least. Stuff, man. Yep, I don't do that kind of woodwork anymore. Looks like that uh, center ridge beam has been replaced. Some saw marks. Joinery is super cool. Looks like uh, you used to be able to see something through there. That's always the problem like how much do you trim so that you can have a beautiful view versus let the forest grow personally I feel you gotta maintain it some or else in South Carolina it'll just absolutely take over everything it's a beautiful area oh a whole water fountain I love these steps on the backside aren't walked as much got uh Nice moss and stuff on them. Oh, look at that, all dinged up. I love everything about it. Nope. Dang it. And there's no head on that one. That's disappointing. Dang, that's pretty mean. Beautiful area up here. All right, let's keep rolling. See what else we can find. Do a little slight off-roading here. capable off-roading vehicle on earth the Honda Odyssey <laughs> as long as you're careful it'll be alright I do see that stick poking up I want to rip something out from underneath the van I'll go around that one alright let's go to the other piece and then uh, head on out then we'll have a uh, whirlwind tour of Points at State Park. Oh. Uh, I think that's where I need to go right there. I'll just back it up and go that way. Yanks, that is bright. growing on top now the chimney some on the roof a little bit that is awesome solid little cooking area here <laughs> that's cool man
wonder how much of this is the original CCC. This lumber looks too new to me. And this stuff seems not hand hewn. So there's rock. I don't know, maybe that, I'm not sure. I could probably like read the, all the postings and stuff that we've got or that, uh, that's back on that other area. What's the fun in that? trail entrance or fence or something over there. I don't know, the way that this uh, oh, looks like dimensional lumber to me. So newer, but how much newer, I don't know. Is the brown trail? <laughs> it's a interesting color for a blaze. I guess they ran out of other bright colors. No clue what trail this is. All right, let's jump back in the van and see uh, what else we can see. I think there's only one more road off to the side somewhere. I'm not sure. This old water fountain looks like it still works. Who knows though. Oh yeah it does. Very cool. through there look at this a little bit more so there's some limbs that so we've got a toy hauler and uh, I think some of these limbs up here would probably be scraping the top a little bit it'd probably be fine but it always stresses me out a little bit in my roof it's uh, I just got through replacing it I think it was a year ago two years ago maybe but uh, seven thousand dollars to replace the daggone plastic roof on that thing hmm. <clears throat> kind of don't want to tear it and have to buy a new one All right, back to the trail crossing here little boardwalk. Yeah, 
Let's do it right here. Check out that boardwalk. That is cool, man. Very cool. Definitely don't remember seeing this boardwalk here. Wow, baby, that's pretty. So this is green blaze, I guess. Little frogs or something jumping around. Holy cow, this is beautiful. This is ridiculous beautiful. Flowing water out there. All right, another day I'm going to have to come back and uh, just kind of walk some of this stuff, man. This is too pretty, bro. Too pretty. Another day, though. Not today. Just doing a quick drive through. Only purpose of being here is to make sure I want to come back. T-Mobile signal as of today, not very good in here. Uh, AT&T mostly covered, but there's definitely some dead spots. I don't have coverage currently. I'm gonna poke you out the window so you can see better. Too much reflection. Cabins one through four to the left. Let's just go take a peek just real quick. And I think we're done with this part. At least a quick drive through. All right, just uh, checking out cabins one through four here, and uh, we will be done with this uh, quick drive through here. All right, what we got? One through four, do not enter over to the right. I wonder if that is all like Ranger. I wonder if that's like the Ranger housing and stuff. Okay, so one way, cabins one through four, hopefully not too many of a dip because I was too busy looking at the other side. Got some fat squirrels through here, man. Dude. Nice little uh, bad houses up there. Nice fireplace. A fire ring with uh, some chairs around it. Those look like uh, actually rocking chairs. Oh, here goes the first cabin. Central air in there. Got their own little patio furniture. This looks pretty awesome. Guess there's a trail entrance here and maybe parking spots for that trail entrance. Kind of cool to know. All right, let's 
see how we're doing with uh, AT&T. AT&T's got one bar up here, and T-Mobile also has one bar. Nice little cabins, man. No clue what they look like on the inside, but pretty awesome. All right, let's do some off-roading here and get around this puddle. That's real nice. Real nice. Ooh, found that stick. say this is absolutely beautiful not sure how much the uh, cost of the cabins are or the uh, campsites but uh, gotta say this is one heck of a park man it is really pretty really really pretty I've only been mountain biking through here like I said before but uh, makes me want to come back and spend some more time here down that way but that road is a mess all right I'll just uh, get a little bit of video leaving uh, the park just so you can kind of see what the roads look like was uh, not the right idea for the van. Uh, the dirt road was kind of uh, raised in the middle and then sloped to either side for drainage. So I had to actually put one of the wheels up in the center so that uh, I wouldn't be dragging the bottom. It worked fine. So that's the road that I came in on. I, uh, if you're in a little low clearance vehicle, might not take that one. The van did fine. And uh, it just rained like crazy yesterday too. So it, uh, I guess everything drains pretty well around here. All the sand makes everything disappear pretty quick. What's this? Some kind of kiosk or something. I don't know what this is. What does that even say? Game theft? What does it say up in here? Oh, Manchester State Forest. Okay. So that was right outside of uh, Poinsett. Got some trail maps? All right. I'll uh, see if that's true. I am guessing it is not true. Uh, I do see a bicycle sign that way, though. That's cool. Trail maps? What do you think? Oh. No drill maps. Some kind of animal lives in there. <laughs> what the heck is that? Emergency telephone? Poinsett State Park Road? What the heck? I've never seen anything like that. No horses allowed. Fast moving bikes. No clue what that means. So the bike trail that way, or that way, or is it through the gate? Hard to say. Go ahead and pause 
video if you want to read about all this. I am not. I am only looking for bicycle trails. Got some kind of signage over here. Looks like a part of a bicycle over here. Guess this is parking for the bicycle. Oh, look, a zip tie. Unused. Yes, please. I'll take that. Shove that on the bicycle for the next repair I need to do. All right, just left that Manchester area back there. Let's see what else we got up here. See if there's any other cool things we should turn down. That looked like a fun road. Wasn't marked, so hesitant to do it. Had a couple buddies. That's uh, uh, another road. I don't necessarily want to go down Red Clay Road in this van anymore. Probably went down too much of that before. I think most of these little side roads are actually, uh, you kind of don't want to ride them in vehicles or motorcycles. Uh, State Forest Land, even though it's not posted, uh, one of my buddies uh, got a ticket for riding his motorcycle on some of these, I guess they're fire break roads or something going through the forest. They're not marked, don't ride them, but I guess he somehow he still got a ticket. I don't know, I mean, don't understand it. Just figure uh, I'd run this battery down a little bit more with, uh, just to see what else is to be seen leaving the park. Got a couple people parked up here. What we got going on here? Does that mean trailhead? What does that mean? Oh, looks like they're working. Yeah, like all those little roads right there, they look super enticing. I'm gonna take a motorcycle down. Uh, I'd recommend not doing it, at least around here. All right, routing to the Manchester State Forest Office. I don't know if there's something to be seen there or not, but it's just north of Poinsett. So off to the right is a training bomb range, or I'm not sure how it works, but yeah. Right. Right. This 
was uh, I came through on this road all the way across. See how it kind of ridges up in the middle. And uh, as long as I kept one of the sets of tires up on that ridge, it was fine. fishing. Just chatted with the uh, Manchester Ranger. I guess that's what you call him. I'm not sure. But uh, basically said a uh, bicycle pass for a year, $25. You can get it online or $5 a day. Uh, and you can get it the day before online, I guess. Boy, I got some noisy frogs, man. Goodness gracious, this is pretty. <laughs> 